So how does one interact with crowdsourcing? Uh, there are many ways to do it, but it could be as simple as asking a question on Yahoo Answers or even Twitter. Uh, there are websites designed specifically for crowdsourcing, but that's not the only way to do it. Uh, one such website is actually a form of crowdsourcing called crowdfunding uh, is Kickstarter. Kickstarter allows people to kind of submit their ideas and then other people, if they like the ideas, they'll uh, send money to kind of fund that, those ideas. Uh, another site that crowdsources labor is called Angie's List. Angie's List uh, lets people choose from a large group of applicants if they need projects done on their home and select the best one that would be the most useful to them. Uh, one piece of technology that has had the largest impact on crowdsourcing is the Internet. Uh, crowdsourcing would not exist without the Internet. It would be impossible because the Internet is a quick and convenient way to bring everybody together. Crowds, those quick and convenient are staples of crowdsourcing. Without that, it wouldn't exist because it simply wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't be efficient. It would defeat the purpose. So the Internet has been huge in crowdsourcing.